All right, I'm platooned here with Maester Kaser, and we're gonna run a Type 64 platoon. I'm gonna buy the uh, tank, and we'll do a review. I purchased it without a crew. It's a premium light tank. The 132 is one of my favorite tanks, so I should be able to use the crew in the 132 in the 64. So I drop the crew, and I load it in here. Oh, it's got one extra. Yep, it's got uh, five crew man. Retrain a dude just for this tank. Um, what kind of equipment do you put on yours, Neil? I want Binox, um, gun laying drive, and optics, but I might take the gun laying drive off the camo net on. Depends what uh, type of mood I'm in. Do you do passive scouting with this gem or drive around with it? Well, when there's lots of when there's lots of coverage and footage, I I do the passive, but in those city maps, it's, it's kind of just it's kind of hard to camo up. It wasn't until like maybe uh, 10,000 games where I learned that you could put crew from another tank into another one. The premiums don't suffer a penalty. So my 132 crew is in here and as you can see they're not red. The name of the 132 is red, but um, these guys are suffering no penalties. And I didn't even know this until just like maybe a couple months ago, but premium tanks uh, train 30% faster too. So, there it says there, when driving a premium vehicle the crew is trained 50% faster. So it makes sense, like if you want a really good 132 crew to just put your crew into one of these premiums, either the Type 62 or the 64, and just play uh, games. You take any gold rounds, Maester? That's all I run is gold. <laughs> I got so many premium tanks, silver's not even an issue. Yeah, I just dipped under 40 million after buying that binocular. That's pretty much all I run nowadays, are just premium tanks. Except for the big heavies. Can buy some sweet camo for this guy. All right, you ready to roll? Let's do it. Like any other hustlers, I hit the Chinese store. I purchased something. Slide a little extra under the glass. You know, keep their mouth shut while I'm out front doing what I'm doing. All right, here we go. The difference between me and the dope boys is my product. It can't be traced. There's no paraphernalia, no forensic evidence. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for instance. My man right here. What's the matchmaking like on these babies? Man, you might go to eight. My crew's pretty brute though. They're only on 74% on their first skill. I get a cat that's just ready to lose it all together. And I gotta calm me down, you know what I'm saying? So I give him a few words to read. Try to make it all make sense to him. But sometimes I might meet my man right here. He got a new wife. Kind of a brutal map. It's 
Just got good penetration on the gold rounds, 177 average. Yeah, even on the regular rounds, pretty good. For tier 7, yeah. Go checks. Yep. What's the speed like? Just wanna find out. It's going pretty good. good. Slow acceleration. Oh, the turning kind of sucks. I'm surprised by that. It's a 58. at this corner I'll go up the next corner okay I track that steward oh it's for 119 Already aiming at us. In it. Shooting at me from the hill. We have no one on the hill, Neil. Okay, I'm gonna distract these guys. You got shots on these guys? I'm gonna try to get up there. Bounce. Stay alive. Oh, there's lots of guys over here. <laughs> Definitely like this tank, though. Three second reload. It's awesome. It's my only tier six, too. Like. I just, my only other tier 6 is the KV-85, the one with the 122. So, I think that, uh... My review of the Type 64 is it's worth the purchase. If you really like your 132, that'll be able to help me train it uh, when there's like five times XP. Because I'll put the crew from the 132 into the 62, then the 64, and it's like you can chain the crew three times in one day with the doubles. The tank. The only thing, the only thing that I don't like is that 
Um, the extra crew member makes it kind of awkward for accelerate crew training because uh, that crew member will now like be getting, will be stealing that extra XP from the accelerate. The tank's a little sluggish, but it's not terrible. It has a nice top speed, and the gun is awesome, so that's really good. Be right back. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.